Yeah, baby, we're starting the podcast right now. We're back. You know what, dude, live. Welcome, everybody, to the show. YKW. I started the social media and podcast. <laughs> the fact. The YKW Dude Podcast. YKWD is back again. Old school, back in the day, where it all started. Before them all, YKWD. This podcast is so fun and crazy. It has no rules. Shut up. You're ruining this. Where's the bandana, man? Sorry, it's a comedy podcast. This isn't NPR. That's what this podcast does. Is there any better show? This is the original. Original. If you're going to be throwing down some bets this football season, you need my bookie. Their sports book and casino platform lets you bet from anywhere, anytime. My bookie makes it so easy, you don't even need an app. It's so simple to get started and so much fun. They even run contests where you can enter for as little as a dollar twenty-five and win up to ten grand. It's simple. It's easy. You don't even need an app. You just go to the website. It's fun. It makes everything more exciting. Don't even, listen. Here's the thing, too. When you're done placing bets on your favorite sports team, try out their casino with blackjack, video poker and even live lotto. How great is that? There's no need to download an app. Just click the link in the show notes, sign up, and you're ready to bet. Lock your future in now while you're waiting for the season to begin. And use promo code DUDE to claim a bonus up to $1,000 on your first deposit. That's DUDE to start the college football season off with house money. Don't ever miss out on action. Bet anything, anywhere, anytime with my bookie. What's up, everybody? Robert Kelly at the You Know What Dude Studios, Comedy Cellar Studios above the world famous Comedy Cellar. I have the amazing Sarah Tolomash here with me tonight. Thank you. I married you. You did. You did a really great job. I did all right. Yeah, you did great. My were parents you, loved you. Uh, your parents were adorable. Oh, thank you. They were great. I yeah. loved it. We were talking before about the podcasting whole thing. It's it's. You asked me how long I've been doing this. I've been doing it too long to wear the fact... <laughs> I think this is the last one. <laughs> this is this is it. I think this is it. <laughs> and I'm going to go out as a gay man. Like, hey. Hey. My new podcast is going to be called Seriously, hey, guys? Hey, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not a bad avenue to go down. Oh, it's a great avenue to go down. Hey, hey, bitches. We should do that together. What's up? This week we'll be talking about when do you have anal... Is it the first or second date? When don't you? <laughs> hmm. Bingo. I win. Cha-ching. I get all the money. Dave Grohl is a pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Did you you just read what he came out with? Yeah, he came out with a fucking a baby. A baby out of a, wedlock. A better. Right. Well, I guess it's not out of wedlock, out of a marriage. It's Well, he's married, and he had to announce to us. For, I hate that. I hate that rock stars are so scared of being canceled. Right. And so scared of what the people will think. Do you think Mick Jagger, David Bowie, Robert Plant, Motley Crue, David Lee Roth gave a fuck about what I thought? Right. Now, I just want to let everybody know, nobody gives a fuck, Dave. Go <laughs> come in, everybody. <laughs> like it, I feel like it's not a surprise although there is a feeling with dave Grohl that you're like oh no but then you're like oh yeah all along listen why would they be any different yeah you're a rock star on the road yeah and everybody treats you like a god you're a genius you dm's play. coming at you every i mean i'm fighting it off i'm a tubby bald fuck from <laughs> boston and i love my wife and i gotta fight off milf tits all the time right i love milf tits oh my keep god. them coming keep them coming my wife doesn't care. She doesn't know. No, she doesn't know. She doesn't listen to this I, podcast. She doesn't know. She doesn't follow me on social media. <laughs> That's smart. I don't listen to my husband's podcast. Yeah, it's better. I feel like it's like reading their diary and yeah. it's not fair to them. It's not that good. And I don't want him. <laughs> <laughs> not good. I don't want him to listen hey, to my podcast. Hey, we're gay. Yeah. Oh, oh, dude. Comedy. Man. <laughs> oh, good. Bye. Sarcastic. <laughs> we're crazy. Joke, 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 joke. Um, serious topic. Let's not do it. Um, no. Um, no, Joe's the best. He's the He's best. Great. I He's married him and I carried his seed. <laughs> yeah. uh. Here's the thing with this girl. I this girl hit the jackpot though. You right. know, you know, as soon as he came, he went, she crossed her legs and went, All right, buddy, I gotta go. She just flips upside down. And she just she slowly walked backwards <laughs> holding that 
bucket of Dave Grolges in her vagina. She right. actually, as she went down the stairs upside down right. to make sure it <laughs> got just in. Hand standing. Uh, she, what are you doing, ma'am? No, Nothing. Okay. Mind your business. I'm just uh, Cirque du Soleil down the stairs. I'm I'm getting my kids' college fund. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, how great is that for her? As, yeah. As soon as he came, her she just went. Mm. I mean, she heard. Ah. <laughs> She's already buying stuff. Uh, if, I, if guys could get pregnant, and I know some can, I get it. Don't right. fucking cancel me. We're new. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cancel me, them, he, she, why? <laughs> um, <laughs> I, if, guy, if I could get pregnant, if I could get pregnant, I would let Madonna come in me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'd let Beyonce fucking dump right in me. Oh, oh right. Like, And then you'd have the opportunity. I would go let Liza Minnelli drop her <laughs> old eggs inside of my jizz. <laughs> Kind of like from the movie Alien. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it did come out of my belly like that, like it, yeah. it just shot out. You're like, oh, good. I get to do, buy a new house. This girl, how happy. I mean, yes, tragic for Dave Grohl's family who have everything. <laughs> and probably never see him. They're on the road all the time. He'll see him. He's going to make, and it sucks. He's going to make him like a roadie. That's the thing that <laughs> when you get caught cheating, how much you have yeah. to like go against who you are as a person to win uh, your Dave, loved ones back. Dave's going to be at his concert. He's going to be like, <laughs> yeah, man, give it up for my kid. He's up there on the on the rafters. He's a uh, key grip. All right, <laughs> rock it out. The my other kid's over here on backstage. He's drinking champagne. Uh, they he he's here on a yeah. <laughs> he was on the G five with the regular family, but he's on the uh, true bus. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's earning it. Give it up for, for give it up for Jose. <laughs> right, because uh, I follow Arnold Schwarzenegger's love child. Yeah, yeah, and he looks just like him. I know. What was it uh, Dan and uh, Dan and Jay were talking about the. When they talked about it on the bonfire, that it's like, dude, he said, <laughs> Arnold was looking, I don't, I'm going to beat it, but they were trashing how much he looks like. Arnold's like, I got this fucking loser, but that's my real son. Right. Yeah, my Mexican seed really took. took it did. Hold. Yeah. And then, uh, because I feel like he's actually making a push for, like, he's actually working really hard. I don't know yeah. what the, uh, the Shrivers are doing. Yeah, you know what they're doing. They're just yeah. fucking getting Living. drunk and hyenas. Point. Yeah. <laughs> fucking over here. Why? What's <laughs> happening with fucking Robert Jr.? He's fucking losing his mind, this fucking alien weirdo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking get the sailboat out, fucking Tweaky. Whatever fucking your girlfriend's dumb name is. I have no idea. Arnold's kid is just fucking cranking it out. And, right. He's and going Venice. on auditions, doing yeah. TikToks. Like, yeah. I see him more than the whatever the Shriver kids are. How great would it be if he became the next Arnold? Right. That's great. I think the other Shriver married a Pratt. Uh, what's his name from the office? Not the office. Parks and Rec. He was no. also in Jurassic oh, Park. Oh, really? Yeah. I think oh, yeah. yeah. When he dumped the funny woman. Yeah. He dumped that loon. <laughs> <laughs> she got old. I'll tell you what. She was one of the funniest roles ever is... Uh, right? I thought in House Bunny. No. Or my, the one where she's the, <laughs> the pop star. Chris We're Pratt. just old people that are like... <laughs> just, you know that movie? Just Friends. Just Friends, yeah. It's Just Friends. House Bunny, yeah, that was it. <laughs> that's what my fucking watching. What is House Bunny? Fucking she, <laughs> that's when she goes into a sorority, but she's too old for it. No, I... Just I Friends is one of the funniest movies of all time. And she, in the movie, is fucking hilarious. She's great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what would you do, for real quick, um, you've been married for how long? 2017. And? What is that? Seven years? <laughs> yeah. I have, n yes. Yeah? It's 24. <laughs> yeah. I don't fucking know. I, I know, I don't. After two, it's like, who cares? <laughs> You're not getting out of it. I was trying to look up what do you get for the seven year, and it's you, you, wool. Yeah, you get you get uh, the cold shoulder. Yeah, <laughs> you know you know what you get at seventeen years a dry vagina and hot flashes. That's what you get. Yeah, that's I get. What I'm getting now. I get jerking off in the shower, <laughs> and in between and bush fat. errands. Yeah, yeah. That your wife is running. Um, well, you got your beautiful husband Joe. Who, he's gorgeous. He's, mm, you know, what's good for you is good. No, right. Adorable. <laughs> not your type. Not my type. The thing is, is that I, you know, people know he's funny. People yeah. know that he is great actor, writer. Great actor, prolific. <laughs> he, he comes up with a lot of specials. Yeah, well, listen, it's not like it's 1985 where it's hard to do. <laughs> All right, you need four iPhones and a nerd, and you can do it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Right. 
No, he's a great writer. He's a. I mean, he's always pumping shit out. Right. But what people really want to know is, does he have a nice penis? It's glorious. I just talked about this again on another podcast okay. today. I, I know. You're going to think that we're, okay, we're just like every other podcast. Right. Now, Danny, can you please introduce this woman sitting behind me? Uh, we have uh, a sketch artist here uh, that's going to do a police sketch artist style based on your description of Joe's uh, penis. Yeah, we take it to the next level. Okay. This is YKWD. This you is know Abby. What? This is Abby. Abby, how are you? I'm good. And she's not, I'm, happy. I'm telling you right now. Legitimate artist. All right. She's no joke. So, like, I have to describe it as if it, like, held me up at gunpoint. Yes. Like, it's a <laughs> Puerto Rican at 125th Street on the 6th train at 3 in the morning. Try to describe it to the police. Yes. Think. Like, like when you see I it. don't know. It was dark. It was late at <laughs> well, night. No, no, no. The penis. <laughs> not the guy that attacked you. <laughs> All right. Now, if you can, also, what do you need from her? Abby, just things that you need from her to describe it, or does she can she just describe it and you're good with it? Would it fit on this piece of paper? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank God. Right. <laughs> she right. Should have run to should have run to Utrex <laughs> and get another pad. Fuck it, what good pull, like, good pull, Utrex. Remember that? Okay, nice talking to you. <laughs> okay, do, you, do you, can she just describe it and you can go? Yeah, start describing. Okay. Uh, well, first it's circumcised. Yeah. I think that then that clears out half. More than the world. Yeah. That will right? that yeah. And you know, you're a good yeah. person. Thank you. Yeah. I'm a good person. <laughs> yeah, because you chose that instead of the other. Right. Ugh. It's weird. The old snuffleupagus. But I think most people are gonna go in that direction. Nope, they're not. We had a hard time with that with our son. I didn't know where to go. Did you do uh, let's not get sidetracked? Right. A little more description, please. Okay. It's big, but it's not where you're like, oh, my God, I don't know what to do with that. Okay. So I would say, because it's not, it's, I would say it's average. Yeah. Right? Maybe, like, you know, Bobby. I've seen it. <laughs> I, I can help if you need it. I, every time I FaceTime with him, towards the end of the conversation, he slowly pans down the phone and his, <laughs> right. his cock is sticking out hard. Bobby. That's not Bobby, you can't help describe because you're going to be the judge on if it looks like it. I am. Right, right. Okay, gotcha. Thank you, Danny, for being the producer that you are. Um, <laughs> yes. You know, I would like to say it's probably like, I don't know what the color is, but I almost grayish. Do you know what I mean? Like, like a purple. <laughs> I'm just like, it's not like the skin on his face. <laughs> Okay. What about Honestly, like I don't really look at it that in depth. Why don't you start at the top? The top. The 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 tip, the helmet. The the helmet. The helmet. Is it you know, big, wide? What what do you got? Um, probably like that. <laughs> okay. That's I good. I think. Okay. And I mean, we're talking hard now. We're not talking regular. We're, we're a hard right. I, well, in my mind, I'm thinking it's I'm sorry, regular. Did, did that mess you up? Just regular? Okay. Yeah. We'll stay, I, we'll stay I was regular. describing regular. I'm sorry. I'm getting, I'm getting turned on. I took it too far. Right. I apologize, girls. <laughs> I wanted it hard. <laughs> but it's your penis. Draw whatever you want. You want a you fucking unhard penis? You right. Fucking and the balls dip below. Okay. Balls go below the penis. And then one's higher than the other. One nut is higher than the other. This is That's good. That's normal. How's this? This is good? Right. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, great. All right. So it's you, clean. It's clean. Thank God. It's clean. Yeah. It's gone I mean, to the ringer, though. He's got the herpes. He's got the herpes. Yeah, he's got but the. It's rare that it, it shows up. Well, here's the thing I, I say if you don't got warts, herpes, or crabs, you, you, you're you not a man. Right. You, you need to I have. Said it's got character. It's got character. It's gone through yeah. wars. Yeah. It's like uh, Tommy Lee Jones's face. It is like Tommy Lee Jones's face. It's been through some stuff. It's been through some stuff. A uh, lot of stuff. Now, when you got... I, I don't want to... I mean, people flip out about this whole circumcision thing, too. You're de Right. You're defiguring... It's mutilation. It's mu Listen, here's the thing with this. Nobody said anything, right, with, to me. Right. And then I'm in the hospital, and they're just like, all right, we're going to take him for... I'm like, okay. Uh, a, a head came out of my wife's vagina <laughs> a few hours ago. And they're like, we're going to take him. Okay, take, I don't know... 
she's fucking freaking out. Right. I, I'm I okay. And he comes back circumcised. Right. And then when I people I said it on a show, you fucking you mutilated your baby. Right. Like, listen, where were you? I know we've been doing it for a long time, and I just thought maybe it should look like his dad's. So. Yes, so you can yes. recognize him. Yes. In a sh- gay sh- bathhouse. Right, Dad? <laughs> Dad? <laughs> yes, son. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was about to blow you. <laughs> but I saw my penis. <laughs> and I knew that was, that's my dad. Yeah. Oh, God, that's terrible. Um, uh, yeah, no, so you did it. You got right. a circus. I mean, I think we probably need like an amount of inches to draw. Inches. Like that? I would say it's like six regular. Oh, he's going to be mad. That's like, Pretty good. Says you. Regular. <laughs> Regular? Right. Like your what you get in your rent a car? Well <laughs> She's a racing, which I find very funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he gets mad, I'll say, well, they misunderstood I meant the English inch. The English it inch. It might be different. Yes, it's a little English. Where's Could your accent? They're gonna have an accent this show. I wanted to. I can't keep one for a long spend a long amount of time. If um start drifting. All right, let's see if you can keep it. Keep an accent and then we'll see when you drift out. Okay. All right, ready? Yeah. And hello. Hello. Oh, are you? So, I think his cock. <laughs> <laughs> I think his cock um it's got maybe like a slight rings around the head. Do you know what I mean? Like a like, like a like a turtleneck that's <laughs> Scrunched a little. Really? Right. Wow. He's wearing like a mock turtleneck or a regular one? Like a mock. Okay. But not rolled. Yeah. No, I'm th- I already left it. You left it. I already ro- dropped away. the accident. You dropped accident. it. You went uh, around his neck. It's around his neck. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, um, let me ask you a question. If if you're, if you're if Joe, if Jay, he'd never do it. But what if you found out Joe had a baby with another woman? Mm. Would you be pissed? Yeah. Okay. I would. I, it would depend if it happened before our marriage or when we were going out. Like that I'm happened to Gavin Rossdale. He got married and then he found out he was a father to like an 18 year old daughter. There's something different about it that if you did it before everything and right. then it was a thing you really didn't know about. I guess, yeah, that's 100% different. The reason why I would hate it is like I like to keep my life as simple as possible and I do not want another entity. <laughs> In my life. You don't have to visit somebody else for Christmas? A drop off. You know what I mean? Like yeah. exchange, a talk to the the girlfriend. Yeah. You don't have the phone ringing. It's her. Oh. <laughs> He's not here. I don't know. I don't know where he is. Yeah. He's I have to be Cleveland. the bigger person. Sure. He can come over for Christmas. Yeah. The love child. Yeah. Bring him over. Yeah. He, okay. You can hold my baby if you want. Right. Yeah. And then, you know, you got to get him a present. Right. Yeah. What should we get? What should we get Jimmy? I don't know. I don't know. How about like. How about what? a new dad? Any some podcast swag that you got <laughs> that I don't give a shit about. <laughs> I give him like. a, reg, a regs hat. <laughs> give him a regs hat, you piece of shit. Why don't you fucking worry about your Here. real son? Here's your regs hat. Yeah, this yeah. one you made with the woman you love. Oh, well, I made the other one too. Um, yeah. I'd be like, you bastard. Uh, Sarah? Yeah? I have a question. Yes. Wait a minute. Uh, so, uh, one second. Joe, why has your voice changed? <laughs> Hello, Sarah? Well, he's nervous. <laughs> What's up, Joe? I'm a raging I think we need more of a description of the head. Like, is it more of like a mushroom cap or like a, like German, a German soldier helmet? Or like, like, a, a, uh, like a Darth Vader, but mainly from space balls. Does it look like a, like a cool turtle? You know what a turtle sticks is? Right. But um, a turtle, when it sticks its head out, has like I a skinny I neck. I can't help you because I've seen it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so weird I've seen your husband's cock. Well, I feel like every male comic has seen each other's penis. That's uh, like your, y'all's love language. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, well, I've never showed my dick. Or balls. I've never done that. Though, I'm, like, I, hey, and then your friend looks down and you're like, your balls a, are out. It's a very, uh, like, your husband is very sophomoric humor. Right. He'll whip his it's dick. Up. Ari, take his dick. I'm not. I've never been into it. Right. I've never not been into it because anytime your husband takes his dick out, I just want to suck it. I know it's really hard for you. <laughs> it's, hard. it's so hard. It's for hard you. not to just put it in my mouth. I'm sorry. I don't mean that. No, I've just never been into like blood or piss or balls or right. Uh, I'm like more of a just bad badge. My uh, well, I, I'm into like you know slapping shit out of somebody's hand. Yeah. Or uh, shut up. Or, you know, blah, blah, blah. That or like rolling the window up while they're talking. Yeah. I feel like that's your... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
Yeah, that or hanging up mid conversation. That's more my sophomoric type of humor. Theirs is let me show you my dick and You're balls. Right. I'm not whatever. I don't want to. Like, I don't want to see your dick. Yeah, it's a weird, <laughs> it's a weird thing. But your husband shows me all the time. I've seen ours dick more than I've seen my dick. Right. It's just a thing that I like. Women don't really do to each other. Yeah, that would be weird. Right. It'd be hilarious though. I know. If you, and I just have a text message thread of my. <laughs> you and Bonnie are just showing each other's labias. Bodies. Yeah. Yeah, but you draw shit on it like, <laughs> like a little face. <laughs> you write "fuck you" on it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Bonnie. Check out this new joke. Or you draw. You draw. <laughs> you draw. You make it into a face. <laughs> right. <laughs> Put like an afro where your pubes are. <laughs> I think I've seen a Homer Simpson as a pussy look. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. It's it's ridiculous. I've seen a hamburger. Right. I've seen it's a like, lot of things. It's actually pretty artistic. It's yeah. impressive. Well, every vagina is different. Right. It really. I. They are. Massively. Yeah. And it's weird. It is weird, and I don't. Yeah, I don't even know the scope of it. Do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> what? I've only seen, you know, you, you go looked. online. I ha- I know, but it's not like I'm checking it all the time. Right. But I'm meaning like, I haven't seen what, like, every single cultural around the world, all like, there should just be a book of... Of vaginas. But I think it's just called Google Search. Yeah, but that would be a great book. Right. Like, vaginas around the world. It's kind of like the vagina monologues, I'm assuming. Yeah, but if it was... Without a, written word, and like just straight... A post. coffee table book. Yes. A coffee table book... Of artistic... Vages from around the world. Yeah. We should do that. From all sorts of people. Do you know how interesting that would be? You don't see the face. You don't see it. You just open it up, and it's a vagina. Um, right. But we have some questions from the people watching live on Patreon about Joe's penis. Um, Lou wants to know if there's any spots, moles, and the width, and if there's any hair. Mm. Good question. Not directly on it, but you know, you always have like... a. S- which, which one is this? Spots, moles, or hair? Oh, hair. Don't you sorry. Talk, don't you talk to the guests like that. I'm sorry. Okay. Big fan. I don't think there's any spots. <laughs> no little freckles? No, no little freckles. I haven't gone that in depth. Hair? You know, I feel bad that I haven't scoped it out as much as... I think I'm, it'll as, be something as I have? I, As you have, yeah. <laughs> no hair? <gasps> Yeah, I've never gotten to zoom in on it. Yeah, he just—he doesn't shave, but he's not like a woolly mammoth. It's like normal. It's normal, yeah. Any other questions, Danny? It's not even like noticeable to my mind. Lou had a has just asked, "Are we including the balls?" Which I think is a good point. Um, I always just include the balls so you can get a like yes. an idea of how it hangs. So then we need a description of the balls. Well, I said it, they hang below, and one is higher than the other. By how much? Not by not at a concerning amount, so like a regular, like I don't know, but right. a half That's an good. inch. That's good. Let's move it on. I mean, she's an artist. She has to have uh, creativity. She has to have, uh, she has to use her artist artistic, license. Yes, her artistic license. Um, you know, me and Dawn finally moved up to. We were moved further. We went further up. Right. And you guys went further in. We did. We you went d- down. You, you went down and in the beast. Right. Well, I've never lived in Manhattan before. You so so you're in a doorman building, you're in the beast, you're right in the city. Is this what you wanted? Is this Yes. You're excited about this. I'm excited about it, but I'm not I'm never happy about paying more money. Yeah. Um but every other place that we were throwing out, we could not compromise. What do you mean? Meaning like there was New Jersey. I'm just worried if we move out of New York, I'm going to be all by myself and not able to get into the city to run spots. I And I enjoy running spots. And I don't think I'm a stress factory kind of gal. No, I don't think anybody is a stress <laughs> factory kind of human. Did I say that out loud? Did I say I hope they close? Maybe uh, Dojo. Dojo's great. I've, I feel like I've seen hmm. people of my same... Humor, uh, dojo, have a good time dojo there. is a fun spot. Yeah, and they treat you so good, right? Which is big. It's big. Yes, it, it make if you are uncomfortable, have anxiety, or worried, or if people at the club are fucking you, or treating you bad, or making you feel shitty, you can't perform. <laughs> but when you walk in and you feel awesome, 
and they make you feel like a star. Relax and no micromanaging. That's uh, dude. You feel you can perform at your highest level, right? If it, you can, if you can have that. That's why the dojo. When I went there, Danny was telling me about it, blah, blah blah, and I went there, and it is, it is, was incredible. Yeah, yeah. But but you could look. I live up there. I'm four minutes from the train that goes to Grand Central. Right. But here's the thing. You got this new baby. I do. You got married, and now you're having a baby, and this was not on the plan. It wasn't. Because I talked to you guys. Yeah. and I Joe did a switcheroo. I was always like, it's great no matter what. Whatever. Not having a kid is amazing, but also like, I always did want to have a kid. Do you what, know what I mean? Yeah. What cha- well, Dawn was the same way, and I didn't know it. Because I was like, nah, we, 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 let's just not do it. We're too, right. we're too old, fuck it. And she was like, all right, yeah, me either. Well, I also didn't want to lose out on that experience. I don't know if that sounds self-centered. What do you mean? Meaning like, yeah, I would like to be a mom. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to go through life regretting that I didn't do it. I can always just leave him. Yeah, on, on, on the baby. <laughs> yeah. Are you talking about Joe or the baby? The baby. <laughs> oh yeah, you can leave. You can't I can leave always Joe. Just leave. You can't leave Joe. They you don't guys care what the, the mom leaves. Doesn't even know you yet. <laughs> they don't. Yeah, they don't know. Not yet. Yeah. I mean, Dave's gonna leave that fucking jizz bucket he just had somewhere. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, it's funny. Joe didn't want it, and I remember talking to you guys, and all of a sudden you spun it around. Right. He had just changed his mind. Yeah. He said it was because of Rachel's baby. If she can do it, he can do it. <laughs> hey, if, no. if that bimbo can have one, I can do it. <laughs> yeah, or I just think because she brought him to your house, she brought her child to your house. Oh, so I didn't have any. <laughs> it wasn't me at all. <laughs> it wasn't me at all either. <laughs> the fucking Joe. <laughs> Joe's such a fucking piece of shit. I mean, me having a baby, what didn't inspire him? Rachel Feinstein did. Right. God damn it. So that makes me angry. Yeah. Well, he was also hanging out with Gary Veter a lot during COVID. And Who's he had that? Gary Veter. What's that? Uh, just some comic. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a comic. I thought it was a thing. Right. Yeah. I thought it was a sushi place you guys went to. He's, yeah, he was just hanging out Gary Veter. Is that not how you say it? No, I know him. I was just okay. joking. Gotcha. What, what are you on? <laughs> what, well, can I just you, say... Are you I doing get, Rogan right now? No, but people say I mispronounce a lot of things. Who says that? I've never heard that about you. I'm one friend... Who's always correcting me? Russ Maneev. No. Oh. No. I won't name her name because I actually, I really like her. Lisa. But is, no, she lives in LA. Oh, uh, what's her name? The blonde girl. Yeah. Yeah. I, yes, I used to, I did a lot of sketches with her. The blonde chick with the barrel chest. Barrel chest? I don't know okay. who she is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. I said, you said LA, I said blonde chick. You went, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it describes most of the girls A lot in LA. of, yes, with the big tits. Big, yes. She had big tits? No, just I think regular. Regular. I love regular. Right. Um, But you have this baby now. Oh, he's glorious. And, I love I mean, him. And you guys are both kind of, you have a new special out right now. I do. Uh, It's on... Uh, it's on YouTube. Let's plug it right now in the middle of the show. It's on YouTube. On and it's called Butthole Money. <laughs> Why butthole money? Is that well, what you got to do? Well, it's a terminology I said in the in the um, pandemic. In the special. Oh, in the special. I thought you, that's what you did for money during the I, pandemic. I wish. I feel like I wouldn't make hey, that much money. I'm Sarah Liss, and this is butthole money. <laughs> if you give me money, I'll show you my butthole. Yeah, and it's just like in the park. But it's Joe helping you <laughs> as my wife. <laughs> Look at my mouth. It's the same size as her butthole. <laughs> Why butthole money? Well, it's mainly about um, the gist of it is I was so flabbergasted that the bad baby cash me outside girl made $52 million on OnlyFans. Crazy. That I was like, that is so much money. And I do feel like she has actually has like a financial team behind her. And she's been um hitting all her marks on every milestone in her trajectory. That I was like, I do believe she'll turn that into generational wealth. Sure. And I was just like, you know, there's oil money. <laughs> that I was like, she there's gonna be this like <laughs> new, like new Trust fund babies that are from butthole money, <laughs> and that's where be, it's this from. should be a great documentary. Butthole money, right? It's not going to be like Rothschilds or like anybody from like steel industry. No, this this world has gone to shit creatively. Creatively, because of this, because of this, 
the average butthole bitch and dickhead dude can get millions of people to I follow know. them with a video that's probably six seconds long and they just want more and more of it. I know it's so I can't I don't get mad at it because I just feel like if I think about it too much again because you just work so hard like you got to hit the mics for like 20 years yeah. and you're crafting your hours. And then there's just some girl that's like, you hawk a loogie on your man's dick. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Yeah. Well, it's coming to so, it And it, she didn't even like search it. It's just like a man on the street. She was just kind of like discovered. Like, I want to be fucking she discovered. Stepped in, she stepped in shit. She stepped, stepped in, in it. shit. But here's the thing. But she's a pig. It, she's a dirty pig. A joy. <laughs> and now she's on everybody's show. Hey, yeah. She's got a podcast. It's coming to an end. This happened in the 80s. If you look right. back to evening at the improv, comedy, half hour, Car Caroline's com comedy was everywhere. Everybody had a joke about fucking, uh, you know, uh, farts and planes. And yeah. and it was, all, and now, if you look at comedy now, everybody has the same jokes. I was talking about this with Louie. It's all this, it's all, and it all, it saturated so much that it killed every it fell off a cliff and this will too yeah people will be like fuck comedy it sucks they'll go back to jazz or some weird shit and rock and roll or punk rock or disco or some stupid thing right and this will be done and comedy clubs will fold and go under yeah it's a boom again and it will die or bust these people will kill it and the next generations of kill want something a little more uh, tangible, right. a little more, a little more meat on it, and they'll go to something else, and this will be bullshit again, and then it will be just us. I like how, but this always happens. Like, <laughs> I feel like I've been in two booms, and still haven't like experienced growth. <laughs> oh, <I've, laughs> I, I will I've, be dead when the pendulum swings back around. I'm oh, like, I, I've, oh great, I'll be I've, a martyr. I've been in a non-boom. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, it, it's a. Uh, you never know, but the, the thing that you do know is that you have integrity and you have right. the respect of real comedians. There's a very there's very few real comedians. There's a small amount of really real stand-ups. A lot of them are out there doing bullshit. Right. And they're I'm always wondering what people are doing on the road. Like I want to see some of people's hours. I don't want to see it. Because I would, because it would make me feel better. No, you shouldn't. Just keep, <laughs> just keep doing what you're doing. You don't want to look and Bobby, see. I some, gotta compare myself to you others. Compare and despair. Yeah. I don't know if you listen to your husband. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's just it's it is what it is. You right. gotta keep it moving. We're in a different game. It's not, um, you know, it's not because I'm in the spot right now where I can't. I gotta get back to. I gotta go back to like open mic things. I gotta go back. I do a few still. I have to go back to doing spots because I can't write jokes. I'm in a my creativity and it's happened to me all. The t it dies and you can't just turn it on. It has to be repetition, 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 and then it will just happen. Right. It has a also. I'm the same way with you. Like. I don't know if this makes me sound like a bad comic, but I don't really sit down and write. I have ideas and I jot them down and then I work them out on stage and I just mem remember what works. Yeah, that, I do the same thing. I'll, I'll write down a little thing. I'll say it to my wife is usually my muse. Where yeah, I'll, she'll is be this like, something? I'll do that, yeah. Right, and then I'll go on stage and f and fuck around with it. And, and, and then it it's like playful up. to right. me. I also find it more or organic. There's only a few comics that I know that sit down and write or, like, from pen to paper and bring it to the stage that I think are gen like, I like them, mm. but some of them, I feel like they're too, um, rigid, rigid. Yes. Where yeah. there's not like a flow to it. Yeah. I like, I like, there's a, it's just memorization at this point. There's no psychology to it. Yeah. It's not like there's a thing that they're trying to say. It's a joke. Yeah. And yeah, I'm fine with that, but it's not my thing. Right. I like when I, f I hear somebody trying to figure something out. Yeah. And they take me by surprise. When there's, it, even there could be like a little dead air. Like, I don't mind, like, a, I'm working on a joke or any new joke, and then it feels kind of kind of slow in the beginning, but then I got them at the end. You're like, that's perfect. Yeah. That's all I want. Yeah. yeah. And I'll work out the beginning part and cut off the fat. Yeah. I like to get on stage. Like, tonight I went on, and I got, I like when I'm sitting in the pocket, when I'm just going. Yeah. And I don't, I'm going in and out and say this and that, and I'll, and I'll bring the joke up inside of somewhere and, even tonight, I was in the pocket, but you know, I was still doing. I was doing older jokes because they were just coming out. Yeah. But 
all of a sudden something else happens and I was like, oh, that's that's the new thing. Yeah. That old thing got me to this new thing and there's something there. Right. But it's it when when the when it shuts off, you can't flip a switch. No. It has to come back on and it you I have to it's push it and push it. Right. And I have to get back on stage. I got like I gotta go back in and do like Tuesday nights, I got to do shows after this. I got to come in on Wednesday. I got to come in on Sunday and do spots and bomb and have yeah. that fear of God of like, I'm going to bomb. This kid just killed and he just killed. Yeah. Now gonna... I'm going to fucking die. I need that to ignite whatever that thing is inside of me. Right. When it's also like, I feel like the idea of having to kill every night also like destroy. Like, I do actually feel like you need to bomb a little bit to get to the jokes that you need to do. Yeah. It's not fun. Yeah. But, like, there's some t- nights that I'd go up just, like, I'm um, like, all right, I'll just do my tried and true. But you're not working on anything new. Right. Where it's, like, sometimes you have to sometimes have to throw at least one or two new things to the wall and see what works. Because that's actually more satisfying. How is it now that you have this baby? Like, you have a kid at home right now. Who, yeah, so I don't get as many. I don't who's know. with the baby right now? Do you leave it alone? Joe. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Joe, we have a camera. Uh, that hooks up to our phone, so we just leave it. You leave it. We leave it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> what do you leave? Like a candy necklace in case it gets hungry. <laughs> What's the formula? Hopefully, he everybody? sucks on it, not chews yeah. it, and chokes on it. Yeah. He gets it. Hey, here's some grapes. <laughs> well, you know, it's it's Darwinism at that point. It's survival of the fittest <laughs> in our apartment. <laughs> um. So Joe's with the baby tonight. Right. So I always. Now when I go on stage, which I actually think has been working out for me nicely, is I always try to work out one or two new bits in the set. Right. Um, where now I feel like I'm actually creating more material faster. I can't. Like, I tried something tonight, and it just fucking flopped. But, uh, you know, tonight was... I, it, I, I got I to gotta just start, and it sucks. Right. And I, I, I wrote, uh, like, a couple years ago, I wrote a great bit. And then I wrote another bit. And then, like, I think I have three bits this year. Or in the <laughs> li- and it's like, because my bits are like these stories and, you yeah. know, this happened. And and I feel like the happier I get, the less funny I get. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, because I feel like, because um, there used to be that notion and you have to be like a struggling artist in order to create. But I feel like I do the best when I feel the happiest. Meaning like. When you're hanging out with your funny friends, do you ever have a, a certain group of f- friends that make you feel funny? Yeah. Yeah. I like hanging out with those people and they help with the writing. I don't, but I don't, ha- I hang out with my family. I know. My family's not in the business. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Cause I you're not going to go down weird avenues through no. conversation. It's no. just going to be like, did you get the lemons that I asked you to get? <laughs> yeah. And you're yeah. like, <laughs> what do you think about this dish? Do we, I want to get this dishwasher. <laughs> I mean, what do you want for dinner? What do you want for lunch? What do you want for breakfast? Yeah. I have, right, she's not, I have, I mean, my son's like, dad, we want, we'll check this video out. Look at this. Let's do that. I don't have that. I have a, I have this weird Clark Kent life that I go back to that I love. Yeah. And it took me my whole life to get, to create a life. Yeah. And I created it and I love it so much, but I'm not that fucking Somebody said the other day, dude, I missed asshole Bobby because I'm, I'm, tr- I'm, I'm not, hey, go fuck you, fucking ass. Yeah. It comes out when Danny sometimes because he's autistic and he's a yeah. fucking idiot. Oh, it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. And, but for the most part, I'm enjoying life and it scares the fuck out of me. Yeah. Well, it's like, especially when you're dealing with family, you're really just running a business. <laughs> Yeah, like, don't you feel like when you're shopping, you're like, I'm really just, I'm doing inventory for my kitchen today. And yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm constantly just like, how much toilet paper do we have? I need, oh shit, we're down to two. Like, I just feel like an office manager. As soon as I get home, <laughs> as soon as I get home, I'm like, what are we, what is, what is on the agenda for tomorrow? <laughs> right. Are we going to have the meeting, at, uh, the board meeting after he goes to school? What, yeah. What's your schedule like? And you're uh, like, yeah. It's fucking crazy. How are you liking that? Are you loving it? There's times where I don't mind it because I do find some humor in like the mundane. Have you had like meaning like when you all of a sudden you're like, why am I caring about this? Like this isn't my bit, but Joe Zimmerman made me laugh recently. Like he brought a new window unit AC Mm. and that, you know, nowadays every appliance makes you get an app. And he's like, I'm not hooking up Wi-Fi for my window unit. (laughs) 
And that's the kind of stuff that I like the world when you live in, like what's kind of like bothering you or like, this is so stupid, but this is what I'm doing right now. Like when my whole ordeal, like this is what I feel like my whole life is ordering something on Amazon that I thought was going to be a right fit and then realizing it doesn't fit. So then I have to adjust everything else in my apartment to adjust to fit the new thing. Like I bought a new playpen, but it's so high up. I can't see the TV that I'm like, great. Now I have to buy risers for all my furniture. <laughs> like it's just never ending in the trial and era uh, of living a, a, a family life. Yeah. Yeah. When you're single, you don't give a shit about stuff like that. I remember just being on a couch on 97th Street being hot <laughs> and just waiting for the <laughs> cellar to open so I could have food and do comedy. Right. And maybe get laid. Right. Now you're like, now I'm running errands and returning stuff and measuring my window unit or my windows to make sure the curtain rods are the right curtain rods. <laughs> Me and my wife were measuring fridge a fridge <laughs> yes. trying to figure out and it's on the other side of the room i'm like the only way we're going to see if it fits into the space is if we put it in the space and we're sitting there going we're measuring it uh three inch seven twenty forty seven plus if you open that plus that space what is 47 plus four uh, what the fuck are we doing i want to just guess and hope for the best like yeah. i can't do it like one time i was buying a bowl and then it gave you the option <laughs> to see what the bowl looks like in your apartment if you <laughs> uploaded a photo of your living room and I was like okay I'm not doing that but how funny to just go through this whole rigmarole to see what a bowl looks like in my I, living room I did that I did that last <laughs> night at one in the morning I I fucking I got a bar stool chair and I put it in the living room <laughs> and I was like don't wake up <laughs> she's like what I'm like does this chair look good and she's like what I'm like Stand up, you can walk around it. You can literally walk around this stupid fake, fake, fake chair that was in the room. And she's like, I don't give a fuck about the chair. I'm like, listen. I'm working. It, I don't know. It's so fucking whack that it is. Where like But I guess I'm, that's the that's That's where I find humor in. That's that where you gotta stuff. do it. And yeah. and I'm used to finding humor in, you know, doing my dick. Right. And my fart and my asshole or whatever. <laughs> Now that that's so not part of my life, I guess I have to go in this other direction, which yeah. is, I guess, interesting. It feels boring, but mm. I feel like most people relate to it. But I, I love finding the stuff that's like nobody thinks about. Right. That. But then, yeah. You, yeah, I don't it's know. It's hard. Then you go on TikTok and then you're like, oh, I have no original thoughts. I don't go. I don't. I don't ever. I, listen, man. Never think you have a new bit and then you go on TikTok because the algorithm <laughs> knows you so well. And the first video you see is somebody doing your bit <laughs> yeah. in Nebraska in a living room. You're yeah. like, are you, are you kidding <laughs> some, me? Some 50 year old redneck <laughs> is doing your bit. And you're like, oh, God, it's got 4 million views. Right. And I was like, I yeah. thought I was like, oh, I have a new take. Yeah. And that's a character they do. It's not even a real redneck. <laughs> yeah. She has a Lexus and a fucking uh, a Ferrari. Yeah, you know what? And it doesn't even bother. It doesn't even matter. I mean, you were talking about like every comic has the same bit. Like you can watch some of the top dogs, yeah. the stadium kind of people, and they all have very similar takes. Yeah. 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 It's, it's hard to have a hot take. It's hard to have uh, the joke. I was talking to Louis about that too. He told me one of his jokes and I was like, wow, that was right there. Right. He was, it was right in front of all of us. And you picked it up. Yeah. And I was like, he was like, yeah, it was like a $20 bill that everybody was just walking by. I was like, fuck, that was a, when that joke, I love that joke. Yeah, those well, are good. Where, and you're yeah. like, nobody's picked this up yet? Yeah. Yeah, like, like uh, Gullman's abbreviated states thing. Yes. It's like, fuck. I mean, of course, I'm dumb. I would never figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> I would get to, uh, I would get to the C's and be like, yeah, I'm done. I'm tired. He's one of the few comics that I feel like does sit down and write that he that i'm like i actually yeah. i really like his stuff yeah he's a really good writer but your husband and you i mean i uh, the one thing about you too that i love is your acting in like fourth of july i thought it was because i was i was torn with louis was editing it so i watched your scenes a lot and i saw a different a lot of different takes of edits on the scenes yeah and the one scene when I'm in the house and you come in. Oh, yeah. And then you have this weird convo with him. And you you conveyed such a sad, 
I don't know, this weird, this sad energy about, you know, having a kid. And this is before you had a kid. Yeah. I, I mean, I had to think that that came from wanting a baby and not having a baby. Some, I mean, because it was so subtle and you and original and no one else could have delivered that line like that. And it, it, there was something, it felt like there was something behind it. Well, I felt like, I think that one... It always doesn't it feel always pretentious. Do you ever watch like Variety's top actors talk about their scenes? No, I'm not gay. <laughs> no, I have better shit to do. Okay. I have a son. Well, I'm terminally online. All right, listen, I have a fridge to fucking measure. <laughs> I don't know what the a fuck. A stool at midnight. <laughs> yeah. Make believe walk around. Uh, um, no, I just I felt like in that scene when I watched Joe. I'm gay. I felt like he was Sorry. legitimately sad. You are gay. I'm That's gay. what I thought. Yes, I'm yeah. I just, I'm not gonna lie to you. That would be <laughs> really good for your career. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, I, I wish. Want, I, want bo- I want butthole money. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know how people are like, I bet she sucked dick to get to that position. You're like, can we? F- can you at least tell me what this dick is? Because I'd like to suck it. Yeah, it's not <laughs> It's not the one she's drawing. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing, by the way? You good? Awesome, great. But you were saying something about that scene. about that. Right. right. Oh, I was just saying, I, I felt like when I looked in his eyes in that moment, I felt like he was legitimately hurt and to see your loved one emotionally in pain. So it made me cry. It was great. Or like sad. Right. Yeah. It was. It was it was great that I mean I really it, you have such a you you which I love. I love when yeah. people are them. Um, <laughs> and it, days. And <laughs> <laughs> them days whatever. <laughs> but your you bring your quirkiness to uh uh your acting which is great. Oh, well. Sure instant ramen is a quick meal, but listen, is that really what you want to be eating? When you want to save time, eat well, you need factor. That's just a fact. I love that it's factor and you need facts. Factors, no prep, no mess, are dietitian approved and get sent right to your front door. With over 25 meal options each week, everything tastes amazing and it just takes two minutes. Trust me, I use these. When my wife went away, no, when I was coming back from New Hampshire, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I, I'm not going to cook. I don't have time to dish. I had factory meals lined up in the fridge, two minutes, two minutes, and I cooked them on the skillet. Just throw a factory meal right in the microwave or a skillet. If you don't like microwaves, you can throw it in a pan. Easy directions. You're good to go. I love them, and they taste amazing. So good. Choose from six menu preferences to help you manage calories, maximize protein intake, avoid meat, or simply eat well Balanced meals, whatever you're looking for, a factor's got it. Head to factormeals.com slash dude50 and use code dude50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code dude50 at factormeals.com slash dude50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month while your subscription is active. When you had this baby... Um, you guys did the what you call it? Um, IVF. IVF. Yes. IVF. Is it IBF? I. It's um, IV? irritable bowel syndrome. You shit IBS. the kid. I you shit the Joe kid shit out. into your asshole, and, and then you had a baby, and then he came in it, <laughs> and it mixed in your stomach, and then the baby was born. People don't know that. That's that what IBS. IVF is. Is it IBS? It's IBS. IVS. <laughs> IVS. So it's, IVS. it's irritable yeah. vagina syndrome. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It, your vagina gets so irritated that it shoots out a kid. Um, we, we should do the present. We should do the artist rendition at the end, right? Yeah, I think that goes at the end, and we could do the the game. Uh, we got to. We have a game show. Okay. Now, Danny, will you present? Because no, you did the IVS, right? IVF. IVF. Right. Um, which. Explain to me what that is, because I'm going to say this. Me and Don were having, we were like, okay, let's have a baby. Also, I guess before. Don't cut me off. Sorry. Shut the fuck (laughs) up. Don't ever scare us like that again. (laughs) Ever in your, shut up and let me finish my thought before your awful, scary voice screams into the microphone into our ears. My heart is pumping out of my chest. (laughs) Also, I don't think, what do you want to say, Dan? I think, because this is going to be the last thing before that, let's just see if, does Abby have any questions that she needs to know to finish it off before before we go into the last thing before this? I think I'm good. You good? Okay. Okay. Can I just say you're very, I wish Danny talked like you. I think I'm good. 
Danny's like, very NPR. also because, um, here's the thing. <laughs> well, we, we tried to have the baby. Um, it was so hard. Right. It was, you know, look, I was 42. She was, uh, she was uh, 38, 39. Yeah, 38, 39. We started when she was 38. And I was 40, and it took two years, and it got, it got to the point where we were like, we're just not going to do it, because yeah. I went and had to get my sperm checked, she had to get her stuff checked. I mean, it, it got crazy. She was taking, like, fucking cough syrup. Yeah. She was, you know, all, anything she could take. We were having sex. I was holding her legs over her head. Maybe like, acupuncture. Every yeah. single thing. And then we finally got pregnant. She did. I hate when people say we. Yeah. She, even though I could I get I mean, pregnant. you helped. Uh, and it we had a miscarriage, which sucked. Yeah, because then it takes so long to get to that. And yeah, and then we told we didn't. You know, it's like trying to get a pilot sold. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's so much work. It's not even worth it. Yeah, and then you shoot it, and then they don't pick it up, right. and then you got to throw it in the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> As a name and everything. There's meetings with other people <laughs> yeah. to give you notes and tell you what you need to do. Yeah. Uh, my show Gemma's in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then we f- we stuck with it, and we finally she got pregnant again. It was really scary and hard. And then we finally had, and now and my kid's 11, and he's. I know, he, isn't that crazy? He threw a backpack on today and walked out the door to the bus stop and, and gave me the finger and yeah. laughed and was, I'm sorry. He's out. Yeah, and then he ran like the girl from Taken because <laughs> I never taught him how to run. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking loser. I, uh, and I still haven't seen him. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't been back. He hasn't been back. Actually, the Turks did take him. <laughs> and now he's getting butthole money in Uzbekistan. <laughs> Um, it should be give me back my money. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, yeah, it's 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 uh it's a hard thing, man. Getting a making a baby is not an easy thing. Yeah, we were kind of naive, but I did know like because <laughs> Joe was like, I think I'd like to have a kid, and I was like, well, I'm 42, right? Like that's really late. Yeah. But then you see online all the some people I feel like kind of lie about their stories. What do you mean? Meaning, like, I remember what, listening to, like, or, like, seeing Janet Jackson has a baby at 53. Not once were they, like, g- she went through IVF or maybe froze her yeah. eggs or all that stuff. And so, I, in my mind, I'm, like, and I, you have friends that are, like, 43. Then you hear, like, these outlier stories even later having babies at 44 or 45. And you're, like, okay, it's doable. But, yeah, it was still, like, a two, I think it was, like, a two-year process. Yeah, it's really hard to do and... First of all, all those famous people suck. I know. They fucking blow their whole. I mean, it really, you know what makes me sick is that the oh yeah, being a parent. Oh really, nanny, Ooh. night nurse. Yeah. If you have a night nurse, you're not a parent. <laughs> if if you have a night nurse, you're not a parent. You're a parent when you're alone. Yeah. You and him, or him and her, <laughs> and that thing goes. Rah. And you, one of you has to go get it. Yeah, that that's parenting. I don't want to hear about your fucking twenty four hour staff. Where you're just like, they're just like, do you want to uh, feed the baby? Oh. And you're like, um, no. I'll just take a few more hours. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get it. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Come with me. I just thought like it was I can maybe in a house, but like having like a random stranger in your apartment, like two feet over. Don't don't get me wrong. If I could afford it, I would have got one. I know because it does sound so pleasing. Oh, if I if I could if I was could be a rich douchebag, right? I I, could, I would definitely do it. But do you ever wonder if it's they're like, oh, you know, I'll just get a nanny. I'm not going to be one of those parents that's not that much in their life, and then slowly and like over time, they're like, but I'm going to just do this really fast. I'm oh, let me just. Let me just get this done. And then they're like, you know what? I'll just see him on the weekends. Yeah, no. No, that's why. I just feel like I would do that. That's why their kids are wearing dresses. <laughs> they're, brought in, they're being brought up by gay nannies in L.A. <laughs> why is my kid transgendering at four? I don't know. <laughs> fucking Claudia has been fucking dressing him up like Madonna for the last five years. You fucking assholes. Oh, I'm so glad my kid's a man. Shoots right. guns. Loves America. Gets hard ons. Yeah, he had a hard on. Watches he- porn. No. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> no, oh, he did. I caught him. I had to take. I had to take. Well, some his fucking you dirt. Can't. His dirt bag friend. Of course, there's always. You got to be on top of their phone. There's always one. I always had. There's a neighborhood kid. Yeah. I remember being like, probably eight years old, yeah. just on his front porch, mm-hmm. going through his 
playboys what were his favorites and now i didn't think anything of it but now when i'm older i'm like yeah i like, didn't i look, love that he was just open about his porn selection i didn't sex shame max at all about it i told him the sex is a good thing and it's fine but not right now you're not ready for it you will be later in life and we'll talk about it and you know and you're you, kind of like i kind of i get it you want to see boobies yeah i said you can you can have youtube yeah. Because YouTube, there's no porn. Here's the Victoria's I, Secret catalog. I that took made it us. all off. I took <laughs> all his stuff off. Yeah. And I check his phone frequently. Yeah. And I went to YouTube and he had twerk videos. <laughs> so he's, he's watching chicks shake their ass. I'm like, that's good. I'm good with that. If that's what you <laughs> right now. I'm fine with little butt shake. And he right. watches girls on motorcycles on the back with their yeah, big yeah. butts. Yeah. I'm like, all right, fine. He's that's like... Fine. It's like, you know, when you are trying to avoid sugar, but then all of a sudden you're really into eating a shit ton of carrots because <laughs> there's like only one gram of sugar in there. Like, that's what your son is doing. Yeah. He's with <laughs> porn. <laughs> <laughs> he's just trying to squeeze it out with motorcycle videos. All right. Well, we got it because it costs a lot of money to do what you did. It costs yeah. like $20,000. We were on the less expensive side because we, if we had used my eggs, it would have been way more because there's a lot of trial and error. Right. And also at my age, the probability was like something like 1%. Wow. For $60,000 or if I could do an egg donor, then it was something like $20,000 and it would just be like a surefire way of not like not of hardly anything wrong with the child. Right. And then it would still have, it would have Joe's DNA. And I was fine with not having my DNA. Right. Yeah, but it's it was in you, right? Which is wild. and I'll have his DNA in me, but I won't. He won't have mine. Joe's DNA? Yeah. Well, that's a natural, but I'll, my child's DNA will go be in me. It's in you. Yeah. Okay, that's crazy. I just read that and I thought it was fascinating. That is amazing because his blood's being pumped through my blood too. So you have your child's DNA in you. Yeah. Do you know who the egg came from? Do you know any history about the egg? Yeah, you get a whole, yeah, they give you a whole bunch of background information. So do you get to choose the yes, egg? Yes, you do. Oh, so did you choose like a magician? Or? No, I chose like a girl that I felt like was probably the closest to, to you. me background wise. Okay, so you chose a white, white racist from Boston. Yeah, well, I was just joking about that recently <laughs> of like... I chose white, which feels racist to Why? be like, keep this lineage going. But then you're like, it's even weirder to have a white couple choose a non-white. First of all, your, Joe's lineage is going to be in it too. Is to have a Puerto Rican black small mouth baby. Oh my God. <laughs> to see Joe in another race would Yo, be so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker, what'd you say, bitch? Don't fuck with me. Yo, motherfucker. No, I hate that. You Look at, yeah. it's a culture thing. It's not a racist thing. Yeah, yeah. It's well, that's culture. The joke of it. You just yeah, fucking whatever. You had yeah. a white baby, good for you. I had a white. Yeah, he's a beautiful white. baby. He's a beautiful white <laughs> baby. I so tell you, people they cost more. <laughs> 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 they don't. <laughs> but not anymore. No, yeah. Ten years y'all's ago, y'all stock is going down. Yeah, ten years ago, a white baby was a huge. A lot. Now a redheaded black Puerto Rican baby is like ice spice triple. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You get an Asian retarded baby? Holy oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's made it. Every scholarship. I wonder if that is true. If white people's, those rich, white, guilty women are just like, I want a black baby. I will. Isn't that I, racist? I don't know. Well, it, it kind of is. I mean, it always seems like. It, That's like racist. Like Mike Racine has a joke that I always thought was funny. Like when you adopt and you're a white woman, like it has, you should, not sh you should, but. To adopt another race so people will know that you're a hero. Right. Because <laughs> if you have adopt a white kid, they'll just assume that that's yours biologically. Right. But if you adopt another race, they're like, right. oh, what a good person you yeah. are. <laughs> if you adopt the blackest baby you could get. <laughs> yeah. And it's just you holding it to where it's like <laughs> people ha are like in shock. Like right. you look like you kidnapped this baby. <laughs> Like TJ. Yeah, people call you a nanny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's mine. No, it's mine. Yeah. What? Reverse nanny. Yeah. <laughs> That's microphone black. 
All right, listen. We got a game. Danny, tell the game. Would you like to play this with us? Hopefully you will. Danny, what's the game? And do it in your game show voice, please. Hi, this is my game show. <laughs> oh, God, please, just do your voice. Yeah. So we asked Joe, uh, uh, and I, I guess I asked Joe how much uh, you paid for the IVF, and he said it was uh, $40,000. Yeah, so, yeah. sounds about right. So we... All together. Got it. What, did you get perks? <laughs> Uh, I wanted to have a uh, big penis. I got my own duffel bag. They threw that in. Oh, you got a duffel, you got the duffel bag package? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the milk warmer and the, yeah. <laughs> I don't want my tits to be with milk, so give me. Right. Like, I got uh, four tits y- with it, I have breast implants. I wish. So, so um, hang on one second. Go ahead. Okay. So the game is, uh, what could you have bought instead of a baby? Okay. So I am going to list off certain things. And uh, your, it's your job to guess if it's under uh, 40000 which is what the baby costs, or over. Okay. And I guess both you and Bobby are going to guess. Kind of like the price is right, but with a baby. Way, way more money. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> way more money. Right. Yeah, this is like an RV and a trip to Hawaii with a couch and a motorcycle and a Hyundai. <laughs> it's weaker for This showcase. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Uh, number one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you could have gone to space on SpaceX for seven days. Would that have been going to space on SpaceX for seven days? Was that more or less than forty thousand dollars? SpaceX is more. I'd say more. I too. think it's in the million. Hang on, let's settle down. Don't ruin okay, the game right sorry. away. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> Danny picked outrageous shit. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> you could suck the king's dick. That is game that, I can play. <laughs> oh, I got it. <laughs> Go ahead. I say we both say more, Danny, because it's space. Okay, you uh, fucking autistic. <laughs> I like the I, you could go to space for forty thousand dollars in the jankiest <laughs> space shuttle. I mean, nineteen sixty nine. You're going, but in. he picked space. He couldn't have picked uh, uh, Super Bowl <laughs> tickets, which would be interesting, and maybe we could get it wrong. Would you? <laughs> Would you rather have your own time machine? How much would that cost? What, Danny? What do you got? Well, so you're funny that you say this this way because when I first thought about it, I was like, oh, and then I Googled it and it said for 30 days or 30 days was 64 million. And I was like, that's so much more than I thought. So I changed it to seven days yeah. to make it. Uh, but you're right. Seven days is $245,000. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's I'm doable. That's not bad, Danny. I Just apologize. a few more Patreon episodes, you can get there. Or seven more f- babies. Yeah, seven more babies. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Uh, That's all? I want to go to space <laughs> now. We're going to start a fi- uh, Patreon. Kick it up. <laughs> if we get 500 more Patreon. If we pa- get 500 patrons, more pa- Patreons. Bobby pay, will go to space. That pay Thirty thousand dollars each for this month. <laughs> <laughs> we, me and the baby, we're taking the kid. Yeah, we're going to bay, space. All right, let's go. Okay, uh, a sixty-acre private island on Nova Scotia. More expensive. Wait, Nova Scotia is more expensive. Nova Scotia. I thought you said Nantucket. Uh, I think you can get a forty thousand dollar island. I think uh, having a baby, having uh, having uh, the IVF, is more expensive. What do you say? I was going to say, I think you, the island might be less. All right, that's what I said. Yeah. But I said it the other way. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm really bad in less than no, greater you're good. than. Okay. Uh, you're good. You just went, you went, I don't know. What happened? Who? We're both uh, saying. Yep. You you're get both it. right. Uh, you wow. can get a private, you could, instead of having a kid, you could have had a private island for $37,000. <gasps> $3,000 extra. No, you, yeah. I mean, you could have had an island in Nova Scotia. Yeah. A fucking island. Like Jeffrey Epstein. Think about right, it. Right. But Think it's so cold up there to molest yeah. those kids. Yeah. It's cold. <laughs> it's harder to get them up there, except at Christmas. <laughs> you'd have to, <laughs> Jeffrey, it's cold here. Yeah. You'd have to molest in season. Right. In <laughs> yeah. the summer. Summer molesting, winter preparing for the grooming. You know, yeah. You're, gro- you're going down to Florida for grooming. <laughs> you're, you're a groom bird. <laughs> All right, good. What else you got, Danny? Okay. That's so disgusting. Hey, guys, we're back. <laughs> happy, <laughs> happy Halloween. You're cute. <laughs> Do you want to check out this van? <laughs> I have an island. You know what the Titanic sank? <laughs> All right, good. Um, <laughs> 10,150 cans of Pringles. Wow, that's a good one. Sour cream and onion. 
Oh, you're fucking, now you're mixing it up. You're throwing in a curveball, you little mm. autistic son of a bitch from Jersey. I think the Pringles, that many cans of Pringles. How many? Is more than IVF. How much? 10,150 cans of Pringles. It I'm depends w- where you're getting them in the city. Target. A story? Okay. Oh, uh, yes. no. I say IVF is more expensive. Okay. Yeah. So Bobby says IVF is more expensive. Because I was thinking $4 a can. Oh, shit. I, have, I, don't, I don't buy Pringles. My okay. wife does because I'm a man. I don't Right, drink. right. Uh, no. <laughs> the, Pringles, <laughs> the Pringles cans are $3.79 a can, which brings us to $38,468. So you could, uh, it's cheaper than the baby. So I won. You won. I won that one. So it's one to nothing, correct? Yes. One to nothing. And we only have, we have one more. And this is, Mm. this one's This is exciting. We could tie. Right. If we tie. Is there a tiebreaker? Yeah, we'll have a tiebreaker. Joe, can you get a tiebreaker ready? Shut up. Don't say it on the (laughs) air. (laughs) I mean, you're such a shitty producer. Uh, Joe, can you figure, I can't, I did this. (laughs) I didn't have a backup plan. My autism took me to this. (laughs) Go ahead. Okay, this is one's most interesting because you were actually talking about this with the races of babies um, and what's more expensive. So we actually looked what it cost to adopt two babies from Asia. So you could get two babies Ooh. from Asia what? for for more or less than your. Baby. You say Asia though. Two. What Asia though? Are we talking uh, Taiwan? Japan? We talking Laos? South or North Korea? We talking J- Japan? You got to give us. China. You say Japan? That's a different ball game. Everything but Japan. Everything but uh, Japan. Now, now we're bringing them bring them way down. I'm gonna say it's more than IVF. No, it's way less. You think? Wow. They For two a, babies. Because they have a lot. Can is I it say girl something? babies? Yeah, is it girl babies? Because <laughs> they're throwing them out. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were fucking rolling all them with tanks around ten years ago. <laughs> and you save money in the long we run. We need an army. Yeah, surplus. Uh, we need a billion soldiers. <laughs> You save money in the long run because you just have to buy them rice. Right. Uh, can you not add to us? And you're not they playing. make iPhones. <laughs> yeah. So then you're making, it's a good investment. Okay. So you're saying it's more for two babies. Two, yeah. More for two babies. I'm going to say, wow. I'm going to say no, it's not more. Uh, Having IBF is $40,000 <laughs> and you can get two Chinese babies for eighteen fifty. I mean, listen, the iPhone is fucking nine bucks. Right. But then they do make it bigger. They make it, they actually, they right. ride it up. So I say it's less. Okay. Two babies from Asia is $34,000. Wow. I win. I'm a bad person. No, you're a good mother. <laughs> <laughs> you're a good mother. I could have you adopted could, two Asian girls. You could have an island and two Asian girls <laughs> if you did your own eggs. Then I got a white man. <laughs> you got a white man and a white woman's egg. Anyways, you got a new special. It's out. It's called Butthole Money. It's on yes. YouTube. Share it. You can share Listen, YouTube videos. It is. You she's, can text them to your friends. I had somebody watch it. Uh, Danny, was it you? I, I loved it. It was great. Danny watched yeah. it, and uh, I'm going to watch it this weekend because I'm home. Uh, I usually watch friends of mine specials. I do, I'm, too. I actually I'm enjoy home, watching or, or when I'm driving. Right. Um, and I'm going to watch it this weekend, but Danny actually was like, it's great. It's awesome. Yeah. He was like, you, Danny, he's like, I didn't think it was going to be good because I, I've seen Sarah. It's a woman. It, she's, she, yeah, he actually said women are funny <laughs> and he goes, you know, most of them, but Sarah, no, Thank he you. said it was great. He said it was really awesome. Danny, you tell her. Big fan. Love the special. You, really. It was awesome. Really, really funny. And listen, go share it. Go uh, like it. Subscribe. And get that. It makes me sick when people are funny and the algorithm or whatever the fuck it is. Just it's you. So it's hurtful because it <laughs> makes me feel ugly. You're not. You're beautiful. Thank you. Because I feel like the algorithm rewards attractive people. Yeah. Um, okay. That's not true. That's not true. Okay. There's name me an. <laughs> I follow. So name much. me an ugly comic. No. It. it <laughs> I. I don't know. Just I wouldn't want you to. <laughs> You're just rattling them off. I don't know. <laughs> there's, there's just it. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. And you could do one thing. You know, somebody could watch this special and something could happen. Right, like Angela Johnson. Yeah. Or, um, yeah. It just Asian happens. salon bit. Yep. And then they that sell far. tickets, and then they're gone, and then everybody in the industry thinks they're amazing, and right. And they want that's what they want you to be more like. That's why I always joke that I'm afraid to quit because I feel like as soon as I quit then Hollywood's like really into aging 
middle-aged woman. <laughs> we can't like, quit. We're really into them right now. There's an untapped resource for comedic. It's funny because I we're like trying to, like, we have to be. Oh, Kamala just said something. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. The whole the, the, the right now the uh, presidential debates on, and we just heard a bunch of women downstairs go woo. That's not for Trump. <laughs> she just roasted him. Uh, she just said something. Your hair is orange, motherfucker. Yeah, Cheeto. Uh, <laughs> Cheeto. Um, but we're, it's great. What if I look back at where you were, where mm-hmm. Joe was, where I was? The fact that we have families, we decided to make a life. You're right. married. We're moving uh, to the Manhattan. It's it's incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. No, it's been. A- there's nothing. N- there's no reason to be- what because you're not doing the garden and. Re- Can I just say I've never wanted to do the garden because even at the stand there'd be pockets. I'm like, you can't get those people to shut up. Like <laughs> I, I can't connect with a, such a broad, or huge place. Right. And I, I can't do t-shirt guns. You can. No, I you can't can. see myself doing a t-shirt gun. You could do it. Do you think so? Yeah, I you, do want to come out with you flames doing, behind me. Oh, you want flames? Yeah. You want kiss And opening? then just give him this energy. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you asked for it. The best comic in the world, Sarah Tolomosh. Yeah, just... Butthole money! <laughs> and I'm like, hi. But you have two buttholes and just shooting up. Right. Boom. Yeah. I like that and then just coming out like this. I'll come out and do your t-shirt. I'm like, boom. <laughs> uh, it'll be a butthole just shooting shit out of it. Uh, is there something you could throw out into the garden that's not t-shirts? Mm. I hope that Danny just asked I don't know, maybe like my underwear. Danny, don't get my carried away. My dirty laundry. Yourself. Danny just asked a question on my podcast <laughs> that he thought I should ask. Yeah. <laughs> is there he, stupid? What, is there are, something? He's like working on buying it for me right yeah. now. <laughs> Danny, you want to do the show? You're more than welcome. <laughs> well, someone's getting an Amazon package tomorrow. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, listen, you got the special out. I love you. Thank you. Thank I you for you coming too. on. I'm going to let you get home to your baby. Yes. And uh, make sure you check out everything she does. What's your website? At Sarah T. Comedy. I wanted Sarah Talmash, but the domain was like $500. You spent 40 on a baby. I know. Well, you know. It's, nobody's really going to a website. If, I just need I a face, a, 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 a front page that says dates. If you got, if you got the island, you would have had the leftover money for the website. I, yeah, I would have. Yeah. And Can you I could, imagine that you bought an island? I would love that. We should buy an island. I would. Let's just me and you and not tell our... Our secret <laughs> island. Yeah, but that we just go to and watch TV. Yeah. <laughs> and molest kids. <laughs> <laughs> we groom. We don't molest. We just groom for I like people. the grooming. Yeah, it's what the get? journey, not the destination <laughs> for me. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, we have to close this out. Hi. 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 We started this show... With an artist, Abby. Yes. We start. And where, what's your website? Where can people see your art? AbbyRoscoe.com. I've seen her art. It's amazing. She's really spectacular. She came in all the way tonight to do this. Oh, nice. And you described the penis. You gave as much information as, as you I can. Could. And she, like a sketch artist, drew this penis. Now, we're going to re- reveal this penis right now to see if this is the penis that attacked your vagina and jizzed in you and made a life. <laughs> Is this Joe's penis? Yeah. I think it's a good job. Oh, my God. Yeah. That. Are you fucking her it, husband? It's uncanny. <laughs> how, how funny it would be if she was like, I'm <laughs> cheating on him, bitch. And I, I have his baby. <laughs> and he has a picture, a photo of Joe's cock. That is, I mean. It, it's amazing. It's crazy. I'm not going to. I'm not. Danny. Yeah. I've seen Joe's dick. It's like that, right? It's that's Joe's dick. Yeah, that's your that's Joe's dick. This is good. Good job, Ab. I mean, really, you are amazing. Right. That's the dick. Thank you. you should work for the police. <laughs> Can, will you come back on and do this with Joe Rogan if he ever comes on the show? <laughs> good. Joe. Yeah, so she needs a huge, Rogan. She needs a huge pad of paper. Right. Um, that's great. Hey, and you know what, Danny? We should give this to a fan. What do you say? Yeah, I, I sh- yeah. I, let's give it to someone on Patreon. Someone who's watching this, DM Bobby on Instagram. First person to DM me right now, signed by the artist. Is that okay? Can we give this away? And will you sign it too? Yeah. 
Okay. And Bobby, you'll sign, I'm assuming? I'll sign. <laughs> Danny, can you let me finish a thought <laughs> before your fucking anxious autism? All right. He, are you going to do it too? Yes. I'll do it. We'll all sign it. First person on Instagram right now to DM me from Patreon will get this signed. Danny will send this out to you. Uh, Sarah. You're the best. I love you. Bobby. And thanks for coming on and thanks leaving your babies. You're both your babies. It's been nice. It's been great. You have fun? I like a little break. You like you know a little mean? break. It is. It's yeah. nice to come out and be you. We got dates right here for me. Danny, I'm going to be oh, uh, all over the life. place. Where am I going to be, Danny? Um, you're going to be... I can't read. Is that you her? Skank fest? Is that your punch up? No. That, no, I'm, I'm, I'm getting on there. I don't have dates right now because I have to be a mom. Yeah. Mm. It's okay. You, I you, know. You switch on and off. You got a special out. Let right. them enjoy that. Get some material. Yes, get some material. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your, your baby. Yeah. And uh, that's fine. Joe will go out, and then you'll be going out, and you go back and forth. What do you got? September 20th and 21st, you're going to be in Cleveland, Ohio. Hey, baby. Then you're going to be in Las Vegas for Skankfest. Skankfest. Mm-hmm. Co-host, New- Co-host New York uh, on October 5th. Yeah. San Diego at Mike Drop, October 11th and 12th. Right. Minneapolis, Acme, October 16th through 19th. Bingo. Then Point Pleasant, New Jersey for Uncle Vinny's. Then Yo. Danella, New Jersey. Then the uh, Beacon, New York. Uh, then the Dojo Comedy, Morris Plains, New Jersey. Yes, sir. Wichita, Kansas, and a lot more. Check it out at uh, punchup.live slash Robert Kelly. Nice. Good job, Danny. You shaking back there? I'm shaking. Nice. Make sure you check out uh, my website. My special's up there. Uh, my special's on Apple. It's on Amazon. It's everywhere. And uh, make sure you check out Sarah and check out Abby's artwork. And what do you got, Danny? Um, see me at the Dojo of Comedy. Follow me on Instagram at Danny Braff. Joe? Uh, you guys like cheese? Yep. Yeah, Guess what? Love it. I got a show about cheese on YouTube, and it's with my wife, and we have a comic. We ask them how cheesy have they are, it? and we eat no. a cheese. You have never seen cheese, cheese? show? You have yeah. to go, yeah, go check out know. Joe's. I do oh, love the, cheese. Go. You should have Sarah on. I will do it. Absolutely. There you go. You got to go on. It's very funny. Okay. It's about cheese. It's re- ridiculous. I love and it. And then you get to eat cheese. That's the best. And then they talk about the cheese. Okay. What's your Instagram? At Stalamash. At Stalamash. Sounds Russian. At Abby Roscoe. That sounds Jewish. Um, you what, guys fought about you. Point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mine is uh, Robert Kelly Alive. That sounds Irish. Uh, anyways, you guys are the best. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Please follow these people uh, and follow us. Go to our shows live because that's what we do. We do all this to promote that and to give you a little entertainment on the side. So make sure you do that when you see us live and say you uh, you came from the, you saw her at the YKWD if, yeah. you, if you're not a fan of hers yet. And uh, that's about it. Uh, watch uh, Fourth of July which is uh, available everywhere. And we'll see you guys next time on You Know What, Dude? You're the best fans in the world. Bye.